Hey Bulls fans, it's Adam Harry. Uh, we have a special event today. Uh, in front of me here is Steve Will. You might know it better as Lux. Lux, exactly. And Lux has a special campaign day planned for us. So it's a Saturday here in Texas. We decided to goof around. So Lux, why don't you uh, tell us what's going on today? Well, we've got sort of a mix of a campaign and a tournament going on today. It's 12 people, special uh, special event. We've got three rounds, kind of like a tournament. But cool. instead of like a tournament, you got two teams. And what we're doing is we're refighting the horse heresy. It's boom, kind of fun. So um, as far as that, how how is the campaign? How are they going to link together? How are the it, missions? It's set up so that every mission, every round, there's six missions. The teams, all the missions are different. They're not fighting the same scenario. They're different points levels. They're different objectives. Different everything behind them. So the teams get together. They decide well, which player, which army is going to do best at which scenario. They fight it out. Every mission gives different bonuses and benefits that link into the later rounds. And so we got three rounds, 18 missions, and at the end of it, we're going to see who wins. Cool. Um, any fun stuff you want to tell? Like, explain a bit, a little bit about the uh, point values, real quick. Yeah. Some of the missions don't exactly, they're not exactly fair fights. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, right now, this is round one, and we got one scenario, which you may see the table for a little later. And we've got, Chaos has got, uh, or Chaos has got seven, a thousand points, the Imperials has 750 points. Cool. But the Imperials, all they have to do is destroy one objective, one, one okay. depot in the middle. They do that, they win. Sweet. Ca if they don't, they lose. So it's not the balanced standard look who captures the most of five objectives like you're going to be used to. So it's just a wacky day, wacky campaign. It's going to be a lot of fun. I was checking out the missions earlier. They look pretty awesome. So uh, let's go pause this real quick. I'm going to run through the tables with you if you want to help me narrate. Yeah, yeah. So we can let's, do go, that. let's go check them out. We're at the uh, first table. What is this table? This one is the raid mission that I just mentioned. It's the... Uh, Chaos has only got uh, Chaos has got a thousand points. Imperials has seven fifty. Darkwind's actually running this. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's got his uh, noise marines defending a, a depot there, and cool. the Imperials are going to come in and try and blow that sucker up. Just a quick glance yeah, of the board here. Balls. And I have no lash. No lash. And, and no again, lash. And these Lucius. Lucius. We, these missions are very fluffy, and we're taking really not tournament list because it's all goofy. Huh? Over here is actually my game. Uh, this mission is called Lambs to the Slaughter. The point is for me to, me playing my world leaders, of course, uh, I have to kill as many of these civilians, which are just these IG guys in the middle here, and I'm playing against Matt. Matt, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up? How's it going? Pretty good. Matt, uh, any thoughts uh, before we play so I have some pointers? Uh, <laughs> just kidding, man. <laughs> you want my strategy to the guy playing, I guess. That sounds like a great plan. Well, yeah. I can tell you, Splug's job is defend the civilian population, get escort them off the table. Imperials can, doesn't matter how many guys they lose, it's all about how many civilians die. That's so true. Matt, which table edge are you, are you calling? So you calling the one right here next to me. Splug's got that. Go yeah, there. there you have it, folks. Off, right? Over here. Yeah. Crazy Red, say hi, dude. Hi! Crazy Red Praetorian, folks, playing the Space Wolves. Over here we have, which mission is, this is Beacon. This right? one's the Beacon, Beacon of Terra. Get a shot here. Basically, we have a single objective in the middle, a thousand points on each side, and we rush and take it. Russian I'm taking playing a board. Grey Knight list with no Grey Knights. Grey Knights with no Grey Knights. There you go. It's your uh, Adeptus Arbites Army. Yes. It's pretty sweet, actually. So there's the big thing in the middle. you got to take that. So put this on pause. We'll go to the other one. All right. And uh, Rashida Red is actually recording this mission. So uh, what's up? we got double flip action. Dun, dun, dun. All right, real genius. What do you got over here, man? Say hi. Hello. Space Wolves. <laughs> Space Wolves. Watch the other video. Exactly. Yeah, we're going to have a video of this one, so I'm going to leave this one for the other video. So, <laughs> and over here, we've got Lux, what is this board? This, this one is Plains of Talarn. If uh, anyone who knows the background, uh, Talarn was one of the biggest tank battles in history in the, in the 40k background. So this, this one's cool because... This one's cool because only vehicles score, but only all vehicles score. score. Boom. Your regular troop choices, whatever. It looks like Mark and... Big Red are actually throwing down already. Yeah, They're throwing dice. They, What's going to happen? Hang on. Oh, I don't know if you got that. All the hills difficult except for the two cliff ones. This one and this one. Those are dangerous. So it's getting crazy over here. All right, we got Jay Wolf and Inquisitor Zane. 
for the world. Yeah. Throwing down against Goat Boy and his crazy biker army. Roll again. What is it? So, this one's an assassination mission. Actually, Jay Wolf and Zane, they're trying to uh, take out, assassinate Goat Boy's HQ over here. It's going to be crazy. So, that's just a run of the tables. Um, I'm going to check back in at the end of the round because i got a game to play. So, uh, Lux, thanks for the walkthrough. Okay. Bulls fans, we'll be back later. After All right, guys, round. after round one, uh, Lux, what happened, dude? Chaos took round one. They've won five games to one. They got a bunch of bonuses. Uh, uh, go over the bonuses real quick. What, what right, yeah. Well, for the first one, the uh, the Chaos took a, uh, a beacon tower. Yep. So they can all their deep strikers and teleporting units get to reroll their scatter die in distance for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the day. Nice. The uh, they also took uh, if any of you who've read the Mechanicum book uh, by Black Library, they uh, took some of the new newest sets of power armor and managed to capture those. Yes. So once per game. Uh, the Chaos player can re-roll all his armor saves for one unit. they got to re-roll all of them, but if you have that one turn where they blow it, there you they go. can pick it up and do it again. All right. And then they also won the Battle of Talarn. Yeah. So those tank, the Chaos tanks, just Death Guard tanks pulled it out over the Imperials. So they get to D3 cover saves per game can be re-rolled, and they just re-roll roll the D3 at the beginning. Uh -huh. And then the biggest one is Chaos managed to go take out some of the Imperial command sec sections. And that was Jay Wolf first Goat Boy. Yep. And so what they got there is once per game for the rest of the day, Chaos can do a disrupted command ability. Yep. And they get to make the Imperials leadership eight. That's going to be huge, turn. I think, coming in. Oh, the yeah. next thing. So this is just a preview of the next uh, round. We've got a wall. I'm assuming it's a Terra board. Mm -hmm. uh, this city sector was my game. I actually was the Chaos player that lost. Um, uh, Splug was running a lot of infantry. I don't know if you guys could see it, but he did a great job of bubble wrapping the uh, civilians and not letting me get to him. So it's just a tribute to him playing to the scenario. And uh, it was a really fun game. We actually ended up tying. Uh, I killed two squads. He got two off the board. Turn five, he rolled a two, and the game ended. So, uh, And there was two floating here still. Probably could have got to one more, but this squad right there is definitely going to be off the board. So, really fun game, really awesome. We're going to post these lists on um, yeah, the Flylords the blog, yeah. the scenario. So, if you guys want to play it later, if you guys have a gaming club, it would be a great way to do it. Zane, how'd your game go? Uh, pretty good. Yeah? I, Who'd you end up playing? I, en I ended up playing Thomas. And how, how bad did you beat him? Uh, he, I didn't really beat him, but he had a few things left. Oh, like almost wiped. He won. He won that. Look at looks. Yeah, he won. He won. It was a tie. And yeah, he won. He won. Pretty much. No, See? I thought it was a tie. He forgot about the one guy that you had. You had one guy sitting back on the objective. High five, Inquisitor Zane. We teach him early here, in Austin, Texas. So here's another preview board. <laughs> so this looks like a fun trench mission. And uh, yeah, let me just stop. We're gonna pause now, and then we're gonna go back over some of these more, some more of these missions. So uh, once we get them all set up, it's lunchtime. All right, Bulls fans, I caught up here with Big Red. Uh, it's the start of round two. Uh, Big Red, what's uh, what's going on on this board? Uh, we got a rescue mission on this one. There's gonna be uh, five objectives that are scattered around with numbers on them. Yep. One of them, and we're uh, it's a spearhead deployment. Spearhead. Um, five, and six objectives, right? Yeah, I think so. And what we're gonna be doing is uh, they all have numbers on them, and once. Uh, uh, any unit uh, uh, finds one, uh, we flip it over, and one and uh, five of them are decoys. One of them is the actual objective, which is remembered. Okay, gotcha. This, this guy right here, and then, uh, one, and then and then once he's uncovered, uh, 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 it's whoever has him at the end of the game. So basically, wins. it's a random six objective game. Once you find the actual objective, and whoever the object takes it, and wins. the objective can be moved, and it can be moved. Okay, a little so, cool. So I'm gonna go check out the other tables that we're doing real quick. Uh, this table's not being used, but that's somebody's army. Looks like Bill Jean just. All right. Uh oh. Go boy, Darkwind, on spaceport. Uh, I can only play this mission because everyone sucked. <laughs> only when I was an all star and uh, Thomas drew the short straw. Boom. There we go. <laughs> You're gonna be the all star again. <laughs> so, uh, Darkwind, what what is this mission about? Uh, I have to control the bastions, which are three okay. the hangers as objectives. Okay. And uh, play the first battle and the landing, oh, landing, landing pad. Okay. And basically, it's Just objectives. hold, it, capture, and hold. Yeah. And you're playing. You're fighting some bikes, and you've got your. Uh, Emperor's children. All right. 
Let me go out to the other room and check this stuff out. It's going to be interesting. All right, so you guys might remember this preview. So uh, who's playing on this board? Crazy Red, you playing on this one? No, I'm not over here. Okay, oh, Caldera. All right, Chris, what's up, man? What do we got over here? All right, we got my side, the Chaos side. I'm playing Thousand Suns. Okay. My objective is the Imperial player is going to have three objectives. Gotcha. He's going to place in his deployment zone, and i got to get over to him. It's 1,500 points versus his 1,000 points. Ooh, so you got an advantage, but he gets to deploy and uh, get to place the objectives where yeah, he wants them. i got to so. get to his objectives. Really cool looking board. So, and then over here, Lux, tell me what's up with the uh, the walls on this one. Oh, we got a classic siege game on this one. Ooh. The Imperials are outnumbered, but they got three up cover behind tough walls on this one. Yep. AV-14 walls. The walls AV are destroyable, though. They are destroyable. It needs a penetrating five or six. And we need to capture the wall segment? Yep, you need to hold the wall segment. So okay. breach the walls and then hold that area. Gotcha. Making a spearhead for the final push here. Jay Wolf, what's going on? Oh, you're on this board. Okay. Who's on this one? <laughs> Wolf's on this one. All right, well, this board is basically, yeah, this board is to capture the buildings. So any anything, any infantry unit can take the building. How it works is when you take a building, you plant a flag, and once you have the flag there, your opponent has to move in with their infantry to remove your flag. Whoever has the most buildings at the end of the game can totally rock it. So it's actually a classic city fight scenario, but most people never play it. There you have it. So we got some city fight, we got some crazy space, for, space forts. Uh, I'm actually on this board, it's a two on two board. Uh, I have a lot of Melta, so I'm gonna blow some walls up. All right, we're gonna check in at the end of the round with you guys. All right guys, it is the end of round two. Uh, it's a lot more even. Little. Little bit more, actually. <laughs> Lux, why don't you give us a breakdown of what's going on here? Uh, Imperials sort of made a comeback. They actually got a couple more wins. 300% more than they did, all right. Boom, so they got, some, one. they got some draws. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so two wins each, uh, and then it was actually only five scenarios this time. There was a two-on-two -two siege game, and that was a draw. That was rough. So, I played in that one. That's the one with the uh, the wall board back there. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, this 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 round had a lot of difficult scenarios. For, yeah. for both sides. So. And it looked it, it seemed like the first round it was all about chaos guys getting advantages from the mission, and then this round was more about imperial guys getting advantages when they yeah. won the mission. So. It's all a build up for the final round, which uh, do you want to go over some of those? Like what's going to be going down? Oh, uh, well, we've got a few, a little more build up is the uh, fighting through the palace and uh, and then also fighting through uh, Horus's flagship and then cool. build up to Horus versus the Emperor. We're all gonna right. One scenario with that one in the end. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, we're just wrapping up over here and uh, this crate. You should see the bat rep for this, this table in particular. Uh, we'll probably have another bat rep for that later. Again, we're going to have all these scenarios up on the Fly Lords blog for later, so you can check them all out and play along. And uh, yeah, I'll pick it up at the top of three. So all right, so here we are. It's the top of round three, just going over some of these missions. We've got the board set up in a four by four with these black tiles, which are just actually shingles, so it's pretty smart. Um, these represent the insides of Horus' ship. We've got two boards set up, one here and one back there. And how this works is you can't see through the ship at all, but uh, it just you can only move in the black spaces, so it's pretty fun. Uh, what is this mission you guys are doing? Which one is this? We're uh, fighting inside the Imperial Palace. Walls. Flank fighting in the Imperial Palace wall. So we got another 15,000. There you go. It's going to be pretty wild. And then uh, I'm actually going to be playing Go Boy this round. So, yeah, on this table, looks like he's got bikes. This is it. Bikes in space. He's got a, a, a sorcerer with Null Zone and um, the, the, the Blast template. Vortex? Yeah, and then uh, we, a captain on a bike with a storm shield and a relic bike. All right, so anyway, uh, that's the table. Let me pause it and we'll right, go to the other. Here we go. Lux, what's going on on these two oh, boards? Okay, no, well, no, they picked the side before you deployed. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do we got on these two boards? Uh, we've got a blitz scenario. Where Which the, is uh, no man's long ways, right? Kind of long ways. The, the uh, chaos is trying to push through the palace. So we're setting up like this. I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but... So there's Chaos trying to push you the pallets to the second line, yeah, into the... and then uh, Imperials are trying to go the other way. So should be pretty crazy. And then what's on that uh, far end is what on another that outflank. Far one, we've got the uh, hold of the last. The uh, the yeah. palace has been breached. The uh, the Imperials basically at this point just trying to buy time and cool kill off as much as they can. So what happens is we play these last four games and five then games. The, five games, sorry, and then. 
then we have the one final end, game, one which is the final end game, game mission. Yeah, so. and that's the Emperor versus Horus. All right, so uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, Adam here. Here, it's the wrap up here, pretty much. Lux, uh, how's the last round going? Well, after that disastrous first one win, five <laughs> loss first round, the uh, the Imperials are actually making a little comeback. We're going along. We got four more games to go right now, and then we got one more. At the very end with the Emperor and Horus, and I know you can check out the uh, video bat rep for that one to find out how it all turned out. Cool. So, as far as the last mission, can you give us any spoilers or previews of what that's going to be like? Uh, yeah, both sides, 1850, well, 1500, maybe 1850 for one of the sides. Depending side, on? Depending on winners of other games, and uh, all vehicle, or all infantry and walkers going to be fought over interior of a ship lay design layout, and... Uh, Basically, put two eight two super HQs going at it. Both HQs get buffed up with Eternal Warrior and all sorts of stuff. And Emperor Still Horse. no pain. Still and no pain. Fleet. fleet. Oh, yeah. yeah, Abaddon with fleet. Just imagine that. No it's gonna be a, gonna be a bloodbath on the final board. Yeah. So definitely check out that bat rep. Uh, as far as if a gaming group wants to play these missions, where can they go to find them? Uh, we can go. We're gonna post these up on the Fly Lords of Terra blog, and uh, we're probably gonna put up a few articles too, just talking about design philosophy, some of the other kind of back background side of it cool, cool. and more on it. Cool. And as far as the other bat reps from today, we've got three I think that are going to go up eventually, including the final showdown, yep. where everybody can kind of watch that happen. Um, those are all going to be on the Bulls channel too. They should be, yeah. Eventually when we get them all out there. So. Yeah. Yeah. Any last things you want to say to the people at home? Uh, it's working out pretty much as I thought it would. There are a few tweaks I'd make to the scenarios, but all in all, everyone seems to be having a good time. Yep. And uh, it's encouraged kind of fun armies, different army lists. Yeah. Definitely that was one of the things that I learned was uh, just take different stuff that you normally would because some of the scenarios make you stretch your mind a little bit more. Also the board. Also, this is just cool. I wanted to point this out. <laughs> It's anger on rat, anger. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Lux, thanks again for uh, doing all the design work and getting this event going. And, uh, yeah, this is Adam Harry. I didn't shave. That's why I don't get on camera too much. And, uh, all right. Thanks, Bulls fans. Right, Have a good folks. one.